and welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so that my prayer can enter your throne. I thank you, Lord, once again, because you are a good God. You see us in the condition that we are in. You help us and you guide us. When we are sad, you are our comforter. When we go through the trials, you are our strength. When we need encouragement, you send it at the right time in the right way. Father, thank you for speaking us uh, through your word. Thank you for speaking us to us through dreams, through words, through songs, through a message. Thank you, Father God, for always finding ways to reach our hearts. Father, I ask that you will reach the hearts of those who have been resistant to you. Father, I know that it is not your will that anyone perish, but Lord, I ask specifically for those children, those teenagers, those adults, those loved ones who have yet to make a decision to follow you and accept you. Father, soften up their hearts, Lord. Make them moldable. Seek for them, Lord. Look for them. Search them out. Chase them, Lord. Whatever it is that you need to do to bring them to a saving knowledge of your Son, I ask that you will do it. There's so many of us who are waiting and praying and begging you for our family who do not know you, who have not made that decision. So, Lord, I ask that you will give us some encouragement. Give us a spark of hope. Allow us to see some change. Lord, soften the hearts of those that we love so much. Father, I ask that you will be with the marriages that are struggling. You know what is going on and you know how the enemy attacks. I ask that you will strengthen them, that both husband and wife will look to you for guidance and wisdom for direction, Lord. Be with our parents as they are navigating parenthood, whether their children are very small in the infant stages or whether they are adolescents or teenagers or young adults. Father, give us wisdom. Help us to love our children as you have loved us. Help us to have patience like you have had patience with us. Help us, Father God, to look for the best interest of our children. I ask these things in your son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional comes from the book Mesa de Fe that is put out by Soldiers of the Cross. It is titled, Our God is on the Throne, and it is taken from page 8. Our biblical base comes from Revelations chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their head, and from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, 
and they do not rest day or not saying holy 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 lord god almighty who was and is and is to come amen may we be blessed by the reading of the scripture our church was living in difficult days we cannot imagine first century believers reading revelations having a refreshing drink and enjoying the sun it was another time a hostile environment the one who was writing revelation was alone on an island but the church needed to know that there was something that it should not lose sight of and that there was that our god is sitting on the throne god is in control of the universe and therefore god himself intervenes in all the elements of history and that history leads to its own glory god's son jesus is the great victor and in the end regardless of the persecution the church will win with the jesus if in the end the story does not lead to a specific destiny marked out by the sovereign of the universe sitting on his throne we are the most pitiable beings on earth revelation shows us how the last part of god's plan was inaugurated and that it is inevitable that god's judgment will be unleashed on the earth following christ faithfully in this world is only possible if we have a clear idea of the god we serve amen may the lord receive the honor and the glory
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.